Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam. Alhamdulillah. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa tahu la sharika la wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu rasul. I hope you give witness and term in a testimony. If it's pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, highly glorified is he, Rabbi Alameen. That I shhadu in la ilaha illallah, what the who la sharika la, wa shhadu in the Muhammadan, abduhu rasul. It is Allah Almighty who taught Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to utter this. This oath for humanity. And that we are testifying, meaning that we have gone out and we've attempted to establish ourselves or get involved in life. And that involvement has brought us back to the only logical conclusion after all of our study and research. That nothing and no one is deserving of the praise, no event, no amount of money, no accolade, no doctorate, nothing that we can get is equivalent to the power of Almighty God, Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, highly glorified as He. Before we even establish our salah in this Beit Allah, this masjid, we have to say that. Because no experience, nothing, is greater than Almighty God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, highly glorified as he. Rabbi Ayyamin, Lord of all the worlds. al muq Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim, Al-Qudus, etc., etc. This is Allah. On this we do not negotiate. On this we do not backpedal. On this we do not say, well, I'll give a little bit, you give a little bit. No. And we can take that to a practical application. Under Allah's instruction, wash hadu and the Muhammadan, Abduh Rasul. And that Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, is Allah's messenger. Nabi Allah, Uswa Hasana. This is Muhammad. We don't put no imam, no shaykh, no madhab, nothing before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the life of Muhammad if we're Muslim. They tried all kinds of things. World War I, they said, listen, if we'll break up the Turkish Empire, we will kill this monster called Al-Islam. So they blew it up, blown it up, destroyed what they thought was the end of Islam. Only to know that we grew further. Prophet Muhammad, the prayers and peace be upon him, has a, a humble group of believers want to make the harsh, but they had to that year make an agreement for the future. We want to agree on this treaty under this tree of Hudi Bayer because the future is better than the present. They are capable of the here and the now. So some disagreed, some didn't understand it. But they followed Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam brought us here on ships no room to defecate no room to clean yourself up no room to make prayer and we stand here today ashhadu la ilaha illallah muhammadan nobody helped us but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wasn't strong enough wasn't bright enough wasn't rich enough wasn't powerful enough it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Highly glorified. Allah said, not equal are those who sit on their butts and those who get in, into the fray of life. Once you see that the book has no doubt, Aleph, Lam, Mim, Dali, Kala, Kitabu, La, Reba, Fihi, U, Dali, Mutti, This is for those who want to eradicate doubt in their life. Say, look, I'm going through life, but something's not fitting, man. I go to work, you run your business, you have children, but something is not fitting within my nafs. So it is Almighty God Allah who answered this question in the time of Nabi Muhammad as he did with those who were struggling before Nabi Muhammad. 
این نوع انزین رو حفی لیلت تو کار محمد in the darkness of the earth ignorance not night time it could be darker than the day than it is at night if you got insight so in the darkness of the hedonistic society Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reveals, begins to reveal the Quran to Muhammad through Jibril alayhi salam so we're thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if that wasn't enough went through Muslim countries and colonized, made Juma outlawed on Fridays, hung if you were Muslim. In some places you go to the Turkish history, if you travel in these countries, you'll see this. Belittled our way of life, slaughtered men by the hundreds of thousands, and still, Ashadu, La ilaha illallah, what to who? Destroy schools, destroyed hospitals, hit the Quran, took your life if you tried to pick it up, ashadu, la ilaha illallah. That's not a statement of language, that's a fact of how our life should be. If someone look at us, they could say, here's Muti, here's Jamila, here's Jamal, they look like they are Muslims. And every part, our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is reported that he said to us, that every step you take, every breath you take, you ought to think about Allah first. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Tell me Allah is not good to us. But the power of the forces, not business, we don't hate business. Without business, there's no community, there's no life. What we do not like are for those who Allah has blessed to be in places and then to abuse that. And, and, and to incur suffering. So in the modern day time, the country wide and these big corporations had us because, listen, people say, well, you should know better. No, government also is a word in Arabic. It comes from the word hikmah, hukum. It also means that the government is responsible to use wisdom in the exercise of those who pay their taxes. So they came with that move, another attempt to destroy. In this country, they came with Jim Crow, not so much to imprison people, but to blind people against the truth of Al-Islam. After Jim Crow, they came with the KKK, you name it, they came with it. But there's something that is deposited in the soul of every human being that as they begin to wreck their, they direct their life and correct their lives, they have one utterance that they make. Allahu Akbar. Alhamdulillah. Subhanallah. And color begins to eradicate itself from the formula. Thanks be to Almighty God. Allah. We sit here in this house of worship with no picture of the divine. But nobody is lost. We sit here in this house of person, uh, worship with nothing hanging from a cross. Nothing hanging. From, we don't have a star, a crescent. We don't have anything that would make us associate the power of God to that icon. We don't have that in Islam. For that, once again, ashadu. Man, it's good to be free. You can't legislate my freedom in Congress. You give me the right to vote. You give me the right to live next door to this person. That has little to do with my freedom. Because if you're free, you're free in the tent. If you're free, you're free in a high-rise apartment that costs a million dollars. If you're free. If not, you're just a prisoner of the dunya. And Allah will drive us to bear witness. Ashadu. La ilaha illallah. What to who? La sharika la. And that there is no partner with Allah. So the people think, well, if we starve them out and keep them ignorant, they're going to come from this way of life, from that way of life, they're going to go to this way of life and leave out Islam. Not going to happen. If we take the food and put it up and don't let them get the food, they will stop being a Muslim. Not going to happen. If we go in and put sanctions because what a few have done on, any, on everybody, then they will leave out Islam in droves. Not going to happen. Matter of fact, more people join. This is the irony of Islam. They say, if we stop Prophet Muhammad from making, from making Hajj this year, 
We will stop them in their tracks. What happened? Biggest conversion. If we can make Muhammad Ali just shut his mouth up 1966, if we can make him just stop saying, I'm a Muslim, Allahu Akbar, if we can shut him up, we control the airways, man. Don't you know that? This is America. If we can stop this little southern man from, why don't he just box, man, and keep his mouth shut? Because something is growing inside. I had to lay the heart in the law. Take his metal. He said, don't take it. I'll give it to you. Throw it over the river. It means more to you than it means to me. Because I'm a Muslim. I had to. Lay the heart of the law. How did this man become the number one person in the planet? Period. Say his name, people run out the house. I got to go see him, man. What happened to this man from Southern America? Southern America. Man, he runs into the, 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 the mercy of Almighty God, Allah, and he touches his nafs. And, it, and when he touches your nafs, I was, I was raised in the Christian church. They say when you get that Holy Ghost, we know it's the Ruh of Allah, Sopran of Wata'ila. You just can't stop. You become a chatterbox, man. So he goes on. Hey, wait a minute. We're stopping. Hey, how about Hajj Malik Shabazz? Man, what is happening in America? These are my Negroes. I educated them. They know what I know what they should be saying. Huh? What gives him the nerve to, to, to go to Oxford? Talk to the elite of the elite. And talk to them about Al Islam. And stand up with the spirit. There is the problem right there. It's the reward and it's the problem. The problem is they don't want us to get the spirit. The reward is that God gives it to you free. 1920, the United States of America, book came out. The rising tide of people of color against white supremacy. And they calculated in this book. Our number one problem is, will, would be if Islam takes root in this country. You wonder why all this stuff is going on. We've seen all this before, man. You shouldn't fall apart if you know your history, if you read the Quran. You shouldn't fall apart. This has always been the way. Get some group to act crazy, and then they drop the boom on you. But not today. Allah is perfect. Allah created the internet millions of years ago. We just woke up to it. He wants his message to go out. He will get his message out when he wants how he wants, where he wants. Look, it's a game for children. You can't stop it. The day, you know, you saw the news yesterday, Home Depot. There is no more security. The only, the only fake or false thing about security was that we would not know about al Islam. Now there is no firewall that can stop the onward movement of the mind of a decent man and woman. There is none. It's child's play. These guys, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, write programs that baffle the whole thing. They're just having fun. Ashhadu. La ilaha illallah. What the who? La sharika la. Wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu rasul. We're thankful for Allah. How do you glorify this? Giving us backbone, man. All we knew is one day we was eating pork and one day we weren't. Seemed like a small thing, man. It's seeing, but the filth that pork stands for. We ain't go no detox program. He just said, God don't eat, said don't eat it, and that's what we marched on. We didn't go to Alazar, we didn't go to anywhere. Because something that had been taken to us was given back to us. Our identity as Muslim, our identity, identity as believers in Almighty God, Allah, highly glorified is here. And we took that thing and we marched. Oprah tried it, they sent her to jail. Here's a man who had a drinking problem, man. See, the beauty of equality in Islam. His woman, his wife told him to go to the temple. It wasn't his idea. It was her idea. So he goes to the temple to find out what's going on and how to be a man. Because she sees it in him when he doesn't see it in him. Now, wait a minute. We don't want to jump too far. But Nabi Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, gets the inspiration. Did he go to Omar? Did he go to Abu Bakr? You know the answer. Lady Khadija, Rabbi Allah, who answered it. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, brothers and sisters, doesn't just give us your heart to just to say it. 
The Shahadatain is the DNA block of life. If you want to change, you got to come into grips with this reality. Try as we might, search as we may, wander as we may wander. Everything. Rabbussamawati warat. That everything is under the command of Almighty God Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the earth is upset with that. Not the good earth, the bad earth. Mayor Muhammad said, when you look at this world, you see two worlds. You see the good world, and you see the bad world. The more we live our life, we see the good world. But the more we are unselfish in giving ourselves to Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. To share, because Allah also tells us in the Quran, in English, that everything forms a community. Whether you're flying, walking, whether you're in the bottom of the ocean, there is no life outside of community life. Period. You know, I'm, a, I'm like a farmer, and I was watching, like, man, all this time I had chickens, I never noticed this. Because, you know, guys have a tendency to say, yeah, my wife said it, but I ain't going to really pay no attention. That's kind of come with us. We had to grow out of that over the years. But my wife had mentioned it to me. Everyone that died, you can always tell. Because they stopped associating with the community. You had 50 chickens, that one that's dying, he's going to go in the corner. He just gets weaker and weaker, and then one day he's just gone. But Allah said, did not you look at my signs? This is what Allah is telling us, brothers and sisters. Did not you look at my signs? Because to not, to respect the, to not respect the signs, man, that's like disbelief. We may have to go get somebody to help us read that sign. You go to the doctor. A doctor, you know, he knows we're going to be lying about how well we are. How well? How are you doing? Brother, I'm doing fine. I ain't seen a doctor in 27 years. But the doctor hear you because it's professional courtesy. But the doctor, well, they're not taking our word unless they're some fraud doctor. He's going to get out some measurement devices and measure our signs. And then in the signs is going to be the real reality of who we are at that moment. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given this, and this shahadatain fits all occasions. If you see it only as religion, then you're lost. Because we don't pride, we don't break pride in religion, we take value in dinu fitr. Putting your feet on the ground and getting to work. Aminu wa aminus. While also everybody is lost with this gift that God gave them, except aminu and aminus. Faith, but faith that develops a physical reality. So they starve us in the world. Man, Muslims pay a heck of a price in this world. They make our communities outside here sometimes illiterate. How can you bomb Syria, man? What are we talking about? Thousands of years of culture. How do you bomb Syria? What are we talking about? Where is the respect for these I mean, Christians are being bombed too? In Syria, what is a Gaza Strip? What, are we, what is that? So we go back to Ashhadu. We bear witness that nothing and no one, even our own self, is deserving of the praise and the honor, the dignity, the time, the respect that we give to Allah. And look at this. He doesn't even need it from us. Now, it gives it right back to you. Sure, he does. But the Lord doesn't need my salah, he gives it right back to you. Right back to us so we can grow in love with him. Taqwa doesn't mean that we're shaking in our boots. The greatest form of love is just we have grown over time. We say to, we say to ourselves, I don't even want to think a thought that may be displeasing to God. And as soon as I think it, I'm going to make a sajda and try to clear myself up. I'm saying I, I mean all of us collectively. So we're thankful for, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because they used everything they could to avoid us meeting here today. Generations after generations have lost blood, have gone insane, have gone to jail for us to sit here today. So it's not a small matter to say, Ash, we can say, Ash Haddu, Lada, Hallelujah, what multiply? Just go out and take that message to the world and see what happens. So we're thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Um, I thank you, ma'am, uh, Talib, for you know, inviting me over uh, today. I know many, 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 many of you. But you can't help but go back to thanking Allah. 
Man, our country is drunk today. In matter of hours. About three more hours, man. It starts. The party starts every Friday. Four or five o'clock. Networking, they call it. Happy hour. I don't know why they're happy. <laughs> but I haven't been a member that one time. I just know what they're doing. Anything goes, man. Crash the stock market. Let the whole country go down before they refuse to make one dollar less. But that's evil. That's not business. Prophet Muhammad also established a norm for us in business. It is a law depending on what the other tell us that the dollar must make dulu. It must make a circuit. That's not MIT. That's not Harvard. That's not Yale. That's the Quran. Allah tells us in this verse, read it for yourself, Surah 59, verse 7. If that dollar don't circulate, from the top to the bottom and all around, then the same people who had it will always have it. So the stock, so the real estate market crushes. Everybody get mad. If I did a survey, your money in the same banks that it was in before. Yeah, they know you're going to get mad. They're paying more bonuses now than what they've been paying before, and the CEO said, oh, I'll give them 30 days. They'll get mad and they'll be over it. No, this is a situation for us. Because as Muslims, we are concerned about the social life of people. What's the good of coming to the mass on Friday and we're not concerned about the social life of people, the economic life of people? This is what, this is what enthused our Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa So he's in the marketplace. He's walking. He's feeding people. He's talking to the youth. He's holding up babies. He's doing all these things as an example for you and I. So once again, as we started this, <clears throat> um, Kutbah, this talk on Friday. Friday. Man, this is our day. Man, we can't wait till Friday. Man, we work, you know, so, uh, you know in our business, uh, some, um, some Muslims came from uh, Muti, I went every Friday off like you. Okay, yeah, but what are you willing to do? No, it ain't no trick. Are you willing to work double on Thursday, double Tuesday? You can't expose my hand, then I get caught with EEOC. Are, you willing, are we willing to give something to get something? Is my point. Because if you want to give something by our way of life, Allah promised you He will give you something. For it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that told us that hasana, goodness, is His own reward. It exists in the cosmic world, brothers and sisters. It don't need no gift from you and I. It is organic, it's, 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 it's alive. It's not just a word, it is alive. Allah didn't just give us the Quran of words on the paper. He gave us life. And because Allah continues to give us life, even when we tell ourselves, I'm not deserving of it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continues. So it's a very beautiful day for us as Muslims. And for many, many people who just want goodness in the world. They just want brother to be brother and sister to be sister. Man, they threw crack, they threw everything on us. Man, they got our children thinking that it's five genders when the law said it's only two genders. But when you open this door, what the evil ones don't really understand, that when you open this door, the trap is what traps you in the end. They don't understand that when you practice evil to this degree, wait a minute, your family's going to get caught in it sooner or later because you can't hide. They don't understand that when you make this evil up, that evil chokes you by your own neck. This is the definition of shirk. That the thing that you have established besides Allah will get you in the end. It never ever fails. Never, ever, ever, ever. As a matter of fact, if we really listen to the thing that we thought, whether it's drugs, gambling, egomania, whatever it may be, it would tell you, so, hey man, let me out of here. I just want to be right. I don't want to have to face God and say that I did this. So it leaves us. And we end up standing by ourselves. Even the shaitan, you're in the Quran, right? He'll get upset with you after a while. If you keep blaming him, he's oh, wait, wait a minute. I would be like a shaitan rajim. Shaitan is going to war against you, right, for blaming me. What you have done in the presence of God. This is our deen. This is our way of life. That's why we say we are so happy to get the shahada team. Can't give a better simple statement than that. So Allah said, and then when you, Shahalatain is calling on God. What does Allah tell us in the Quran? But when you call on me, then I call on you. And we have to be willing to answer the call. 
of Almighty God, Allah, highly glorified as He, the Lord of all the world. <clears throat> Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alif Lam Mim. Allahu la ilaha huwa ilaha ilahu wa haqqu qayyum. Say, Allah, there is no God but He, the living. The self persistent the eternal. Man, what a freak of freedom for us. I was raised in a church, man. You think that you're bringing palms to God? You think all this kind of stuff. Because it's the curriculum. And we come into al Islam, we get freed immediately. Allah doesn't need anything from us, not dependent upon us, al Ghani, totally independent. This is such a liberating statement for people that the Muslims marched out of Saudi Arabia into Mecca, into Medina, all up through France, down through Spain, saying, Ashhadu la ilaha illallah wa tahu la sharika la. And that Muhammad done of Duhur Rasul changed the number system, changed science system, changed the study of the heavenly bodies. Don't believe it? Check it out. Why are we arguing with ourselves? Why does one group of Muslims think that they got the answer? They can go and blow up a masjid today. You got to sit in a masjid in some parts of Islam and wonder, are you going to be blown up today? That's not our deen. And just like we spoke against the errors of Jim Crow, we have to speak against all ugliness. We have to, or become a part of it. That's the reality. Look at the world, man. Women getting tired of getting banged up in violence. So they spoke up. You don't know how you're going to be used. They spoke up. This has got to cease. You don't hear me now? You'll hear me in the NFL. Because everybody wants freedom to express themselves of the totality of the expression of Almighty God, Allah. Nobody's supposed to be in bondage. Hey, brother, did you hear that? Your Muslim wife is not in bondage to you. She's there because she loves you, she respects you, and she loves Allah more than that. So the whole world is changing, man. The, yeah, this is the last days, but not like they think. It's the last days of defying the signs of Almighty God Allah. Aren't we blessed? Hey, man, prophets before us, aren't we blessed? That we could just see a sign of what Allah subhanahu what the Isla is saying to us in the Quran, and we want to sit and be lazy? Are we serious? Man, if our legs get, you know, I went to Hajj one year, I remember the brothers didn't even have legs, man. They just crawl around the Kaaba. They couldn't even crawl. They dragged them around the Kaaba. Just to be in the presence of Almighty God, Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, how to glorify the sea, Rabbi al Oh, okay. I'm trying to keep myself in order here. No matter what they throw at us, man, we just keep bouncing back. Whole World War I, get to the essence of it. Man, we got to stop these Muslims, man. Khrushchev, same thing. We're going to make walls. We're going, we're going to not even name that all that. Let the world know, excuse me, that these towns ended in Spain are Muslim countries. And he thought he could hold it back with the mythical iron curtain. What happened? They start saying one by one in small towns and hamlets, I'm a Muslim, I'm a Muslim. In the, in the Ukraine, I'm a Muslim. We didn't even know about these people. So the world is upset today because it was founded on a lie. The world is saying, what is happening, man? Why y'all got to just show up in town start talking about no drinking, no dancing? What's wrong with y'all? Don't let them Muslims, I mean, they, they spoil the party. Yeah, the lie is over. And we've been blessed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to see this. Do we really realize how fortunate we are? People with more attributes than we didn't see it like this. I'm talking about seeing it in real time. So we're thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Oh Allah, what can I do? What can we do? Becomes our marching order. Oh Allah, the more I understand it, how he glorifies you, I got to do more. Let me go to sleep and wake up. I don't want to sleep 10 hours, oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We don't want to take no quick drink to give us quick energy. We want to fall more in love with you through service. So we stay energized. So the energy is in the room. as a lot to Jumu'ah. We got all kinds of cultures, all kinds of shapes, everything. But the, but the energy is going up from you and I into the atmosphere. 
and you can't stop it. It obeys nothing but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So it's hitting out the door, it's hitting out the windows. And it's affecting what we call Washington, D.C. So 2014, man, the president of these, and they used to say, these here United States of America has a Caucasian mother, father, and stepfather were Muslim. That's not an accident. You got to go out seeking those kind of two men to have that kind of result. The same name as the same person who was the most wanted, who's been proven innocent, by the way, who was the most wanted on the world by the United States of America. They have to say his name and the president's name the exact same way. Only Allah can do that. And you're not happy to be a Muslim? You, no, you and I don't qualify to write that script, man. Don't even drive yourself crazy. Allah did that. Most powerful, richest nation on the planet. Got to hate the name of Hussein and got to love it at the same time. You think that I got a problem? No, they got a problem. The same people that were brought here, we had some of them names. And it's not just African Americans. I remember as a Muslim, some of our brothers who came who were Muslim, they dropped their Muslim name. What's your name? No, ain't Muhammad. My name's Charlie, man. Not because they were liars, no, no. Preservation of the species is a must in Islam. It's quick to laugh at people. But preservation of the species, if there's nothing else and you dying, you can eat a piece of pork. You can't say it's halal. You just can't say, I feel bad today. This guy be under some severe uh, circumstances. But look at what's happening. All we got to do is bear witness to God and follow the rules. He'll take care of that. Allah said in God, he will take nature. No army can stop nature. I mean, California. One of the richest states can't buy enough water. Three years of a drought, man, something bad's about to happen. You cannot miss water for three years and have a severe rainfall. Nothing's going to be standing. Detroit, bankrupt. Baltimore's not far from it. I don't know about D.C. We don't wish that. No, don't misunderstand me. There's no joy in my heart. Because people are going to get hurt when that happens. We don't wish that some of the Muslims so silly, they want to say, oh, I'll be glad. No, you're not. You're just self-centered. Nobody is wishing for the wrath of Allah, brother. Nobody. So we're thankful to Allah. Subhanahu wa Having said that, I will close out the first part of the khutbah, excuse me, with the greetings of As-Salamu Alaikum. ربنا تني في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وأكيد أبي النار أمين. السلام عليكم. The title was somewhere in there. Excuse me. Staying Muslim or float against the rising tide of shirk. That's it. We know how to do it. Can't tell you enough you don't know. But it's rising because it's all that's got left. There, it's like a big dragon, man. There's no energy left in this thing. It's gone. They did everything they could think of, legislate, you know what. There's nothing else that you can't do anything about. You remember Muhammad said, we cannot stop now. I don't know if you remember that speech. We cannot stop now. He said, they'd have to kill me and everybody with me. But they, we were going to make it anyway, but then we got the second breath. We got the Quran in our lives. We didn't have it, the nation the way we did now. We got the Quran in our life. Our children, are you connected with the young people? Man, they're flying out, bombs falling everywhere. I know a group of them, I just got finished talking, they've been to like five different countries making big contracts. Bombs falling on everywhere. How can you do that? We trust in Allah. So we're thankful to God. How they glorify this, and them kind of stick to What's we stuck to here? Yeah, so, you know, the issue is one of shirk. It's shirk, man. It was shirk that drove people to do the Tuskegee experiment. That was pure shirk. A total disregard for life. It's shirk to take people's money who trust in you. And then you take most of their homes in America just because you want to party all day. You already made billions. That shirk does that. It's shirk that put harmful ingredients in genetically modified food. Shirk makes you do that because you don't care about life. So the problem is bigger than racial. It's shirk. That's just a branch of it. 
It's shirt. But you can work nobly in a country for 40 and 50 years and got to make a decision today. Do I break my pill in half to take my medicine that I can't afford or do I just take a chance that my disease won't capture me today? Shirk do that. That is not an Islamic principle. So Islam comes, it's not satisfied. Islam is an organic reality. And it's not satisfied if all you're going to do is just talk about it. Give me a DVD. It's perfect every time. But Islam demands that you pick up responsibility. If you follow the example of Nabi Muhammad, it demands that you pick up men and women that we pick up responsibility. So we get a wife. The wife gets a husband. We have children. We connect this masjid with another masjid. That masjid is from Pakistan. That one is from, from China. It doesn't matter because our oath is the same. Ashhadu. La ilaha illallah. Islam demands this kind of behavior from us. And after a while, it just gets to be fun. Allah will send you ocean of blessings upon you. And your biggest problem in life is, what do I do with this blessing? Because when you get this one, you say, whoo, can't get no better than this. You pick your head up from the side, you say, Allah gave you something else. You got a major problem on your back. And if you're waiting for some finely dressed Muslim male, have you may define that to answer all your problems, you're sadly mistaken. This is the kingdom of God. He uses whoever he wants to. So you business, you got a weighty decision to make. Man, what do I do? Knock on the door. Hey, Brother Jamal, gee, whatever your name may be, sister, look, I heard about you. I know somewhere you can go because we've watched you over the years. You've been trustworthy. You've been decent. You don't run around. You're not drunk. It's a pleasure to be in your company. Come meet my friend. Yeah, this is the way it works in real time. You can read about it, but you're not going to know until you try it. Until you say, until you live this principle, our prayer, our death, and our life is all for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Not a maniac. Go jumping off some buildings. You're just dead, that's all. But I'm talking about living the life where you check and you wait for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you understand that failure is not failure. Allah is just blessing us to mature on the Salatu Mustaqim. That's what we want. We got young men out here. We got to get them, man. And if you aren't progressing, if you aren't doing things that's good and right and establishing, as Imam Muhammad said one time, if you're only thinking about yourself and your own children, that's a small matter. If you're a man and a woman on the Salatu Mustaqim, at least plan for five generations. Man, isn't that beautiful? I was watching the business channel. The guy said, I founded the company. The great-grandfather, the, fa- the grandfather, it was the father. It was five, they're all Jewish. And the guy said, isn't that beautiful? We got another one right here in diapers going to come right up. And that's the way it could be. Remember, for loose money, that's not a bad concept in this song. Because we know what to do with it. So once again, we're thankful to Almighty God, Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. So in our final moments, listen. Shirk is a serious, diagnosable disease. It's not just something to get to know about. Wars have been cast because of shirk. Millions of people have been wiped out because of shirk. Diseases have spread from border to border to border because of shirk. Racism comes out of shirk, man. It's just shirk, that's all. But it's a, di- it's a diagnosable ailment. It's a disease that grows into our hearts that's very difficult to eradicate ourselves from. It has all the, uh, just for a second, just to, well, I'm not, I'm not really deviating, but I call it post traumatic shirt disorder. <laughs> post traumatic stress disorder is a small thing, it's deadly too. Post traumatic shirt disorder is where it really comes from, and it looks like post traumatic stress disorder. It's to experience something so horrific, so totally destructive and destroying, but at the same time we bind ourselves with it just to live. And because of that, we keep revisiting it. One Muslim group can't get any wrong for another Muslim group. Shirk, man. Call it anything you want to call it. Politics or whatever. That's shirk. 
that if I think I know so much or I'm so much of this that when they're done it's called I won't pray with you man that's a diagnosis of a very serious disease and then I'm going to take it further and that is not the example of hey the dean of Kuhn while you dean hey go on your way but this disease has crept into like a virus in our computer because it's really not in Alice land it's just in us we have to make that differentiation differentiation it's really not a part of Alice land but it's a part of us and the world have used that against us but uh oh 2014 man a 14 year old girl was playing because she had cancer now she got a full scholarship to MIT, 16 years old. She started doing her own research, never been to medical school. Look, the life of this world is an illusion, man. It ain't that difficult to negotiate. You got to just free yourself. Otherwise, what Allah is saying would not be, be, would not be true. Astaghfirullah. We got to just free ourselves in the exercise of the shahada chain. Because this disease will wipe out some people that will never wipe out al Islam. Islam is way above you and I, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala invites us to that. Yeah. It's like the abusive relationship, man. Why do you keep going back, sister? Or brother. Now they women bang brother in the jaw. So why do you keep going back? Because you bonded with it. And you've come to depend on it. Yeah, because if, I, if you leave me, where am I going to live at? Get a tent. I don't say that to be funny. Because Islam calls us to something. If what you call is God, you say, no, I don't call it God. That's where all your money is. No, man, Muti, I ain't God. You played the lottery. No, Muti, it ain't my God. You don't even come near 2.5% if we add up with your salary for the year. So whatever that thing is that we find ourselves being attracted to all day long, game after game after game after game, ain't say no prayer. And got a modern device that he can just stop the game, right? But the thing is so addictive because it meets our immediate satisfaction. So it treats us like a spiritual experience. But when the fact that it matters is it's post-traumatic shirt disorder. So we find ourselves not agreeing, man, on silly things. Why the enemy takes our children. I do clinical work, man. I got it. About a year ago, I let a brother use my website, not know what was going on. Then I get an email. The Muslim Homosexual Association of America. What is that? But wait a minute though, look. I'm not even worried about them. How about you and I that know better? What do we do? You see? What do we do, man? So we're thankful to God for bringing us together. And a part of this thing is that after this, you shouldn't even be running out of here. You should find out what do you do, what do you do, what does she do, and what does she do. So we can make, we, we create the first network. It's an example of Nabi Muhammad. Omar, what are you good at? Abu Bakr, what are you good at? His wives, what are you good at? We got a community to build. And we don't have time for the small minutia of that kind of life. But we're thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Takbir. Man, what can we say about God? What can you say? As somewhere in your Islamic journey, you find yourself crying, not out of weakness, but out of strength. You're just sitting there one day, next thing you know, tears just start flowing. Look, in Baltimore City, man, the death count is so high, brother. You got to be careful where you walk at. The police are afraid. No, this is real time, man. We used to own those streets. What happened to us? It's a fact. They used to knock on the door of temple number six or wherever this temple was here. Say, hey, brother, they weren't Muslim, they were Christians. They said to us, can you do something with my boy? Is there something that you can put my boy in but something happened to us? We got a little too holy or something. They didn't attack us and murder us in the street. No, they did not. Out of love and respect is what they gave. So they said to, to Noah, you know, hey man, this man is crazy. Only a person, imagine noon, only a person that's mentally ill will be building a ship on dry land. Here comes somebody who don't understand. They're going to go get some wood and a hammer and try to build a boat. You're not going anywhere. That's not what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about. A new structure. 
a new circumstance, a new curriculum has to be designed. Because Pharaoh says to us in the Quran, most talked about culture. These are my people. They do what I say, when I say it, and they only worship what I say. <coughs> Musa lay slam said, not today. Go get him and lock him up. So what I'm saying to this is nothing new, what we're seeing today. But we're thankful to Allah. Man, it just makes you cry. You think about it. You'll just sit and cry, man, of joy. Say, I don't, I, man, he says, hey, I am really saved by God. We are really saved by Almighty God, Allah. So rise up and do what it is Allah wants us to do. Don't be concerned about failure as long as you, as long as you are ethically correct, you're legally correct, then just keep moving forward. When did Nabi Muhammad get thrones of tens of thousands of people? Not in the first 13 years, that's for sure. We know this for a fact. The prayers and peace be upon him. So listen, in spite of all the objections and what we see on CNN and all, and all of that, that's what they do. What are we going to do? You see? Are we going to leave here today and don't even shake each other's hand? Because it's just Friday as usual. Are we going to say, brother, how are you really feeling? I mean, what's, what's happening with you? Sister, how are you doing? Can I help you do something? We used to visit each other homes. Myself, I'm guilty of it. Take a pot of food just to sit down and talk to each other. We, have, we don't do that anymore. Now I'm just studying it. Studying what? What's the point of your study if you can't practice it as a human being? If when the people see us walk down the street, they can say, man, there go brother so-and-so, there go sister so-and-so. I feel safe. And I dare the pastor to say something about them. This is what happens. If we give our life to Almighty God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So it's Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. That the praise belongs on. Aren't we glad to know that, man? You ain't got, you ain't got to pray, you ain't praising anyone but God. That just takes the weight off our back. Because post traumatic shirk the Lord, if you're not, it'll come back and visit you. It'll make you feel so good in the misery that you got out of. You forgot, you'll forget that you got out of it. And next thing you know, we're in psych wards. We're on all kinds of medicine. And all we got to do is surrender ourselves to God. Just be in alignment with what we said when we started this talk. Ashhadu. La ilaha illallah. What the who? La sharika la. Wa ashhadu. And the Muhammadan duha rasul. May Allah bless the uh, believers here for all your efforts. As you try to, you know, attempt to grow and into the bigger sphere of uh, Washington, D.C., and get into business, because that's our calling. That's our calling. All of us here need to be, keep your job and go, get, start some kind of business so you can give more. We should be able to network ourselves. Wallahi, Allah will send the angels to help you. Just do what you're supposed to do when you're supposed to guard your prayer. And Allah will send everything that you need. Matter of fact, you're almost saying, Oh, Allah, can you just pause for a moment? I'm telling you, it, hey, listen, what's the key word? In Olenzano, who feel they like to Carter. It comes like rain, man. And you'll be almost ducking it sometimes because it's so good you can't adjust to it. So, okay, I can't, listen, it's too much for me, I'm going to go get this brother. I'm going to go get this sister. It's too much for me, then let's all come and get each other and make a difference in the world. It's our day and time in conclusion. It's the day, it's the day and time for the righteous who have been stepped on by the corporate structure and by the evil people of corporate structure all throughout the world. They raped us, they robbed us, they, be, they, they, they belittled us. But now, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you do one thing wrong, click up your phone and you got it. And we haven't had a time like this. So we're thankful to Allah. I hope I haven't um, offended anybody. I get a little excited, you know, when I'm talking. Because God is good. I can't be a, a mummy about Alice Lamb. Not interested, not signing up for it. But Allah is so good, man. Then I always have to conclude with family life. What's the point, man? If, of all of this, if nobody is happy when you walk in the door. You know, it all goes for naught, man. What's the point? 
when you go home and your son, who this world is trying to make a little girl, is not happy and run to your arms. I'm talking about your 30 year old son and your 3 year old son. I'm talking about your, eight month, your 18 month old daughter and your 18 year old daughter. That's what I'm talking about. If you walk into the house, the husband or the wife, and your children are not happy to see you, what have we done Islamically? Are we really following our last name, Muhammad? So the measuring tape for this becomes real simple. So how do we stay Muslim against the tide, the rising tide of shirk? We follow the example of Nabi Muhammad, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. We follow the example of the Rashid al Khalif. May Allah Taala bless them. And our spear of life, we follow the example of all the good people who come before us. See, what kind of man was Imam Muhammad? What is this about? How did this happen? Did, hey man, you stand to America, they kill you. You want to name son? Martin Luther King, the Kennedy crew. We can go on and on and on and on and on. But it takes courage. And then we realize that it's Almighty God Allah who has made all this possible. So may Allah bless us. Keep us on the Sirat al Mustaqim. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, keep us in our good deeds. Keep us in love with our mates, like your husband and your wife, male and female. May Allah husband, keep us where we're supporting our children. And that may Allah continue to bless us to grow on the uh, Sirat al Mustaqim. Having said that, we close out the quick bar. The greetings are Assalamu alaikum. Part coming to Salah. Allah wa akbar, Allah wa akbar. Allahu Akbar Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alamin Rahmanir Rahim Malik Yawmiddin Iyyaka na'budu wa iyyaka nasta'in Ihdina sirata mustaqim Sirata al-ladhina in amta alayhim Ghayrul maqdubi alayhim walad Dolin Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Inna a'ayta inu kaw kaw thar Fessali di wabiku wanhar Inna shaniyakahu wa abutar Allahu Akbar Sami Allahu liman hamidah Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Alhamdulillahi Rabbi Alameen Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Maliki Yawmiddin Iyaka Na'abudu Wa Iyaka Nasta'in Ihdina Sirat Al-Mustaqim Sirat Al-Ladhina In Amta Alayhim 
Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah Hasbi Allahu la ilaha illa alayhi tawakkatu wa huwa rabbul ashil adin Hasbi Allahu la ilaha illa alayhi tawakkatu wa huwa rabbul ashil adin Hasbi Allahu la ilaha illa alayhi tawakkatu wa huwa rabbul ashil adin Hasbi Allahu la ilaha illa huwa alayhi tawakkatu wa huwa rabbul ashil adin Hasbi Allahu la ilaha illa alayhi tawakkatu wa huwa rabbul ashil adin Hasbi Allahu la ilaha illa alayhi tawakkatu wa huwa rabbul ashil adin Hasbi Allahu la ilaha illa alayhi tawakkatu wa huwa rabbul ashil adin With that we have said we have taken an accounting and we know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the best accounting for all that we do Therefore, we give our trust and our faith and our hope to Almighty God, Allah, for it is Allah and Allah alone who is Lord Supreme of the Throne Almighty. Rabbana atani fa dunya hasana ten wa fu akarati hasana ten wa kina tamina amin. Allah. Take fear. Take fear. Take fear. Assalamu alaikum. We like for you to hope we're going to have Janaza Gab five. Please, uh, we're going to do Janazah prayers. So please uh, stay where you are so we can do Janazah.